Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, did you know what the lines are on the backup camera on a vehicle like this is? This is a 2015 Honda Accord. And this one has, you know, like a lot of backup cameras, they have lines on the backup camera. Do you know what that's for? Do you know that this one has a blind spot camera? Not just about a camera for backing up, it actually has a blind spot camera. Do you know that? Do you know why the driver's side side mirror is distorted on the end? Do you know those? Do you know the answers to those questions? Well, if you don't, you'll find out in this video. So let's start checking it out. Like I said, this is a 2015 Honda Accord, and this is the four-door, as you can see, um, EXL, and this one does have navigation, which I'll show you all that. So it does have 17 inch alloy wheels, silver, painted, with the four wheel disc brakes. All right, so let's make our way here to the front. So it has a combination of projector and reflector headlights. The low beams are actually projectors and powered by halogen bulbs and the high beams are reflectors powered by halogen bulbs as well. You also have fog lights there at the bottom and it does have some chrome accents which looks really nice uh, with the white, the white paint. So let's go ahead and let's walk up here. I just want to show you something about the key. Uh, this is the key fob and it is just this little box and you keep that on you and you can use the car without actually taking it out of your pocket or purse. Um, of course you can use the buttons to lock and unlock but um, I'm just gonna put it in my pocket to show you another way. So just as long as you're within a certain proximity like a few feet it is a proximity key so you can lock the doors by pushing this button and you can unlock the doors by putting your hand behind here. Now the car is running, so uh, right now it's not going to lock or anything or unlock. It's just going to stay unlocked uh, as a you know as a feature there. But that's how you do it. You just walk up, you put your hand on the handle, you open it up, it unlocks for you. You get in, you push the start button, and you're good to go. When you're at your destination, you get out, you push this button, and it relocks. Keys in your pocket the whole time. Okay, so let's check out the inside. Here's the inside of the door, and it has a combination of black and tan. Pretty much everything's soft to the touch here. And then you've got the, like a bottle holder and some storage pockets there as well as there. There's two speakers. There's a tweet air speaker and a regular speaker there in the door. And the power seat here on the passenger side. The controls are here, and the heated leather seats are perforated, has that perforated uh, perforations there in the center of the letter leather here you can see that and that's um, to help with the heated seat is also to keep the seat cool when the sun's shining on it and just you know kind of make it more comfortable to you to your body when you're laying out when you're you know against it you do have some wood grain trim up here let's check out the glove compartment pretty standard size not too bad um, not too big or too small pretty standard Plenty of leg room though, you notice that? And the, the contour of the, the dashboard uh, is, you know, is, is well suited for, you know, just kind of keeps you from feeling claustrophobic or whatever, especially when it's two-tone. All right, keeps beeping because it's letting me know that the car's running and I have the key in my pocket. All right, so here's the inside of the back door and you'll notice plenty of room back here for the back seat passengers you have plenty of leg room and the seat is quite a bit off of the floor uh, so you can have so you see it's, the floor is actually recessed down in there to so where your knees are not sticking up too far and also the seats are a pretty good size so you know you're you're all the way uh, in a comfortable position already uh, these seats will don't fold down in case you need some more cargo space and this folds down and you have 
um, an armrest and some cup holders. There's the vents to share the climate control with the back seat drivers so they won't gripe too much. Got your dome light and all that stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the back. It does have the LED tail lights. Has the single chrome tipped exhaust back here. And you see the LEDs in there. And it has that, that chrome accent there at the bottom. So let's go ahead and open up the back. Pretty spacious trunk. Um, plenty of room there. You also have this cargo mat that has a cord on it and it has a, a pretty good uh, dish uh, lip on the end um, to keep you know stuff from contained into the mat. Also this one does have a spare tire and the tools there which not all cars all not all new cars have a spare tire so that's something that you want to consider um, when you're shopping for a new car make sure that you actually see the new tire uh, in your car and to know if you have it because you don't want to find out at the wrong time that you don't have a spare tire especially on a weekend and you're out of town or something like that so let's go ahead and open up the fuel door so I can show you something there all right so here's the the fuel door opens up. It's on the driver's side, so that's very convenient. And then you have the cap here. You just unscrew it, and there's a place to hang it right here. And that way, um, it does have the string here. Now, if you just let it hang down on the string, it's going to scratch your paint and all that stuff. Um, so I'm glad that they have a little place to put the, the cap. Let's take a look under the hood. Check out the 2.4 liter, 185 horsepower, VTEC engine. The, um, the handle uh, to open up the hood is just here uh, to the left of the Honda symbol, and you pull, lift up on it right there. All right, 2.4 liter, Earth Dreams technology, iVTEC. I'm going to leave a a link in the description that kind of explains the Earth Dreams, um, you know, idea behind Honda's engines. So it goes into more detail. It's basically an Earth friendly, kind of Earth friendly design is what they're getting at. And you see, you have that support bar between the struts, and that reduces uh, vibration and stuff, and it just gives you a more rigid front end. At high, you know, especially at high speeds, it gives you a smoother ride. But I like the way it's not covered up in plastic. You can actually see the engine and actually see metal. I don't mind plastic if it's part of the engine, but I don't like covers. You just cover everything up for no reason. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. All right, here we are on the inside. And you can, I guess you can see why a lot of people, this is a very popular model. The Honda Accord four-door four-cylinder gets really good gas mileage has a lot of features it's comfortable it's well placed and they hold their value very well too so let's go ahead and take a look here on the door you got your power windows your door locks your side mirror controls there uh, you just have to choose which side you want you do have presets for the power seat you have two presets and uh, in case you have two people driving the vehicle you can you know have a a different seating position for each person and have it saved you don't have to automatically I mean uh, you don't have to like manually do it every time uh, it does have an eco mode which when that's turned on will give you the best uh, fuel economy uh, so not only will it adjust the, the fan speed of the, the air conditioning it'll adjust the uh, the transmission shift points and also the the engine um, uh, RPMs all kinds of different things to just slightly change it slightly just to get the best uh, fuel economy uh, lane departure warning um, you could turn that on and off uh, this will help you um, alert you if you're, you start drifting off into another lane without your turn signal on you do have a traction control button here and uh, this will uh, you could turn this off it's typically on 
uh, but if you need to turn to get stuck and you need to spin tires you can turn that off there uh, you can reset your tire pressure monitoring system with this button here it's kind of out of the way so that's good so here on the steering wheel it is a leather wrapped steering wheel very tight leather wrapped very comfortable and it looks very it looks quality and it feels quality so here on the right you have your cruise control settings you just have to turn it on and you can set it and you can adjust your speed and you can cancel it there and uh, here on the bottom left you have your controls for your phone so once you pair your Bluetooth phone you can receive calls with that you can hang up and you can send calls and this is the voice recognition button as well so you can push that button and say call a certain number or call a certain person in your phone book but also you can also change uh, to a different station or go to a, a different place in the navigation system so uh, that button is a really good safety feature and a convenience feature altogether now you have your volume buttons here you change to the stations here you can change AM FM satellite radio with the source button there and then this button right here will kind of cycle through uh, different screens navigation phone no. uh, different Check information computer. and your um, 87.9 um, and actually your radio somebody has the setting to where it, it has a uh, voice explaining what screen you're in so um, you could turn that on and off but right now be good to you know hear what it sounds like so that's these buttons then you have the headlight buttons here um, automatic so that way they go on and off automatically uh, parking lights off and then all the way is, is your uh, your headlights I like the automatic feature and then your fog lights you can turn them on and off here here's your uh, gauge cluster and very classy easy to read and sharp um, easy on the eyes so there to the far left you see your rpms in the center that big dial is your speedometer of course and there to the right you've got your temperature and your uh, fuel now the center um, is a, it basically gives you your trip and also your miles on the vehicle you have different trips and um, so basically, if you wanted to adjust that, you can push this button here. And it cycles through the different information there in that center screen. All right, and you can see it's 99 degrees outside, so that's the outside temperature gauge, which is pretty cool. All right, so this screen here is, um, you can change that actual background. Somebody has like stars or space back there but you can change that like a wallpaper on your computer so right now it just has like some stars there and it has the, the clock and the uh, date which is really convenient I mean I, I wish I had that in my car because um, you know this is a really simple neat thing to have uh, for day-to-day -day life so I'm going to cycle through like I showed you this is the, the radio there adult hits and the navigation screen, just want to give you a view of that. It is a very clear, uh, the contrast in the colors is very nice. And um, you know, you can see where you're at. And you can always put in a, an address and all that stuff. And it'll take no. you. Now once you pair your cell phone, you have access to a uh, quick dial. Um, you know, you can quickly access your phone book. You can uh, redial people, all that good stuff. Trip All computer. Right. Trip computers, um, like say if you wanted to have a, um, you know, go on a trip, it also gives your average miles per gallon and uh, and also your distance and all and your time. So now we're back to the radio there. One hundred seven point nine adult hits. So here's this other screen, which is a touch screen, so you can hit source. One hundred seven point nine adult hits. Yeah, I would probably have to turn that off. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you have AM, FM, satellite radio, CD player. Your CD player is up here, by the way. Um, you do have a hard drive in this, USB. Uh, you could play music through an iPod or through the USB. Plus, you could play music through the Bluetooth system. You can play music through Pandora off your phone once you pair your Bluetooth phone. You can use AHA for the same thing, auxiliary input. So lots and lots of different ways you can actually play music through the sound system in this vehicle. All right, so down here, there's your start button, by the way. Just want to show you um, how to start it. So like I was saying earlier, you can actually keep the key in your pocket. So 
once you actually enter the vehicle uh, using the method that I show you um, that's how you turn it off but you just get in you put your foot on the brake and you just push that red shiny button starts right up okay so let's go ahead and take a look at these climate control buttons you do have a dual zone driver and passenger and you can um, you know you can sync both of them to where they're the same both the same temperature to unsync them all you have to do is just start adjusting this side and it'll unsync them easily uh, so you do have an automatic feature you can adjust the fan speed where you want the air to blow you know, re recirculate the air and the rear defrosters when you turn those on it also turns on the side mirror um, defrost, the heated side mirrors alrighty um, and speak of the side mirrors before I forget I want to show you this side mirror which I mentioned in the beginning has a little bit of a distortion there to the glass and you notice it has that line there and that the purpose of that is to give you it's kind of like a blind spot area so it kind of helps eliminate your blind spot so when you look in the side mirror it is a little bit distorted but it's better to have that additional uh, view than to not see a car and get an accident so that little bit of a distortion is like a blind spot uh, it bends the light so you can see a little bit more than what you normally would and speaking of that let's go ahead and look at this one has the blind spot camera on the underside of that side mirror so I'm gonna go ahead and push this button over here and you can keep your hand on the wheel you push the button and it pops up on the screen and it shows you uh, what's directly in your blind spot to the right uh, so like right back this way it is 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 showing you and also it clues you in which way it's aiming with this little blue icon there. But isn't that cool? So also you don't have to push that button. If you turn put your turn signal on, automatically, automatically pops up. So that's really awesome. And so let's go down here. We have, uh, you remember I cycled through the that button up there, navigation, phone, information, and audio, where there's a quick access buttons there. Uh, you can push the menu system, you can go back out of the screens, all that good stuff with these buttons as well. Plus you can use this little thing here to navigate around on the screen and change through the stations. You do have a power supply down here and also an auxiliary input and a um, USB port. Good place to put a cell phone right there next to it and charge it with those ports. You do have the heated seat controls there on the right and left and here's the shifter and the shifter i'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera now i mentioned before the backup camera has these lines there and the reason why is because the um because the camera is distorted so you see that around the edges of the camera uh things are kind of distorted looking and that's to give you the widest view lens uh widest view um around the vehicle so you don't hit something and so the, those lines are there to give you a guide of the estimated width of the vehicle, but also the distance. So like say it has that dotted line there as the maximum distance. You don't want that anything to go closer to than that line because the only this here is only a few inches, but out here is a few feet because of that distortion. So that's what the lines are for. All right, let's continue down here. Uh, there's neutral, there's drive. Then you have a sport mode which uh, tells the car that you want to get the highest performance. You don't really care about the uh, gas mileage. You just need performance right now. And then you have a low range to um, uh, gives you just a lower gear ratio. So you don't, it's, it's handy for going down hills and you using engine braking. All right, there's your um, parking brake. There's your cup holders. And here is your armrest and the armrest lifts up and in here you've got some storage po pocket stuff going on plus you have a power supply so and it's not too big in there to where you're going to get it too cluttered uh, some of them are just too huge alrighty so the rear view mirror is a is an auto dimming uh, has an auto dimming feature which is auto dimming now because the lights being blocked at, on the sensor and um, so anyway that's good tap lights are up here like so and then you can always turn the interior lights off uh, when like say right now that setting is when the door opens it turns the lights on but you can turn that off if you want to and 
your garage door openers are there the place to put your shades is here and the this thing has a sunroof so we're getting some clouds coming in there's not much sun right now but if we wanted to open it up we can do that we can tilt it or we can open it up just like that there's it that opens up pretty wide or we can close it up and we can close the shade if we want to all right let's take a look at the visibility all right there's a good overview of this vehicle it is a really good choice a lot of people make the choice to buy this vehicle because of that reason and so if you have any questions leave it in the comments and if you have any experience with a honda accord please leave it in the comments as well i'd really like to hear from you and i'm sure everybody else would too all right thanks for watching see you next time